Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. It's all about massage therapy. That's right. We are back with our good friend here, Mohammed Porkfer. He's here joining us as the owner. Uh, he's a massage therapist and owns his own company, Massage Therapy, based out of Beverly Hills, uh, California. That's M O S S A G E T H E R A P E I A dot com. Excited to have you back today. How's everything? Thank you. I'm happy to see you again and participating in this show again. Um, I hope everything is good and we can go ahead and start our session. I'm looking um, forward to it. Great. Yes. Um, as you guys know, my name is Mohammed Porfek and I'm a massage therapist for over 16 years and I'm practicing massage therapy for 16 years. Um, I started actually going to the school in 2004, which mainly encouraged from one of my best friends. Um, Actually, I was doing massages to my family and friends, but, uh, and everyone was like liking it. Everyone was like, you know, enjoying it. So I just want to pursue as a professionally. That's what I decided to go to the school in 2004. And actually I started in the private Los Angeles Institute on LA Los Angeles on Wilshire Boulevard, um, taking nighttime shift. And it took me a year to finish 500 hours of massage therapy. And I also try to better understand of the physiology, which, you know, how our muscles and tendons and our body works and functions because of it, uh, our school was offering the physical therapy aid classes also for 500 hours. Beside that, I also finished that one as well to get boosted through the, my knowledge. Um, yes, in 2006, I graduated. And uh, I started working as a massage therapy at the spa. Uh, so first spa that I worked, I was a detox day spa in Los Angeles. I worked there for five years and I was the most requested massage therapist for five consecutive years at that spa. Uh, I have a lot of Yelp and CT search reviews based on the work that I done for them. Um, and of course, after that, I moved from there and I came to West Hollywood and there is a sunset tower on West Hollywood. There was a spa, Argyle Salon and Spa. I started working there and actually it took about five to six years uh, me to working there. And yeah. I just meet a lot of great clients, you know, uh, because the Sunset Tower Hotel was a, a good location and also they were doing the vanity fair parties after oscar after golden globe yeah you know rewards and i got to meet a lot of celebrities and vip person you know julian moore uh, yes and also demi moore kind of those persons so i worked on them a lot um and but after six years working there i guess i got enough experience and knowledge to just start to work on my own. Um, and in 2018, actually on the end of the 2018, on September, uh, I just decided to just open my own company, which named Massage Therapy. Um, and actually currently I'm located in the Beverly Hills, California and have my own suite there. And I'm practicing massage therapy. Um, so I provide, uh, several type of services which you guys can see on the spa menus but i do massage differently uh, that's why i guess my approach is different to the massage doing this type of services that i'm performing or doing it uh, there is a reason behind it um, yes i do custom massage uh, and all sessions that i do they are 60 minute and 90 minute except the lymphatic drainage massage, which just can be done for 60 minutes. So I do custom massage called Taylor massage based on your need, you know, which part of your body, because I have clients that they are come to me. And um, this is a full body sessions actually from, you know, head to toe, you know, face down and face up. I'm going to full body massage, but because it's customized and it's tailored, so I will ask a client if there is any specific areas they want me to focus on. Some people, they have tender and more tension needs on their back and shoulder, and they just want me to work on their back only and just skip the legs. 
which you know i believe it's not right we have to focus on our legs as well because they are our poles but some people wanted to of course you know whatever they need i will to, to try to accommodate them and then i do yes just full body you know or half shoulder and neck and head massage and the back massage but also i do a deep tissue massage which is a firmer uh, pressure and deeper pressure to the body which mainly i believe so based on what i did and my stats 90 to 95 percent will like um uh deep tissue massages firm massages and actually yes i like the deep good. tissue myself yes i, I do mean, i do uh, <laughs> yes, the, the, the the reason massage people think uh it should not be a pain but massage as firm as we go mm -hmm. you know the pain and the afterwards the pain will be more but getting into this deep layer of the muscle that you know we cannot reach so we have to go a little deeper to release the tension um, and that's why we have to go just a little firm in it and to release the tension to make feel better afterwards. Um, so that's the deep tissue, yes, uh, designed for people who really like, you know, firm pressure. Myself, definitely, I like firm pressure. Uh, and as you said, you like it too. And it's, it shows that, you know, 90, 95% people would like deep tissue massages. And yeah. also when I do deep tissue massages, I do a lot of body manipulation and I add a lot of stretching. I don't think so. Massage by itself you know, just rubbing and kneading or going elbow. So it's not going to be enough. I know we have to incorporate some stretching techniques uh, into our massage, which I do. And with those, you know, manipulation and stretching techniques that I do, I can assess the body, how tight the body parts are. People, you know, that give them information that how, you know, where or which part is tight and they need to just more focus on those parts. Got it. Um, and also I do a sport massage um, for athletes and I have several clients, runners, they come pre-event, post-event. Um, just getting a specific massage for, you know, their legs and their calves and their feet everywhere. Uh, I do the yes, sport massages uh, for post-event and pre-event as well. can be 60 or 90 minutes. Um, and also one of the sessions that I offer is hot stone massage, uh, which is, you know, I guess everyone pretty know what it is and it's very popular. It feels good. You know, it melts away the tension. It gives you more relaxation so 60 minute 90 minute sessions are available and of course every spa that you go to get a hot stone massage they have their own protocol everybody does it differently even when it comes to the massage it's the same thing everyone has their own technique and protocol so i do differently and i believe this is the best way that i can do uh, and also I do the prenatal and postnatal massages for, for pregnant women, mm -hmm. you know, and um, who are no, normally, I will say we are suggesting to give a pregnancy massage after the third trimester of pregnancy, which the first trimester is, you know, kind of risky. Some people might have problems to do the miscarriage and sometimes body manipulation can lead to it. So, uh, but I, again, I did massage yeah. people even they are on their first trimester and they are not mm -hmm. even having like, you know, belly, uh, yep. so, you know, big belly. They could have go on their belly and lay down and just do the normal massage on their back. But yeah. as much as the belly grows and you, of course, you cannot lay on your, you know. I remember. <laughs> and yes, you got to go on your side and do the prenatal mm -hmm. protocol. Um, yes, uh, it's good to do that. Of course, after, uh, you know, prenatal massage, it's postnatal massages is important as well, um, especially for abdomen area, because that's the area mainly is expand and the skin is expanded. Yeah. So for women, it's hard to get back to the shape after you uh, know the, of course always so that uterus <laughs> that has come expanded too yeah. much needs to be touched needs to be stimulated and needs to be worked on and as much as it's worked on it's gonna get to the shape and go back to the same size so muscle tendons and ligaments they are life structure they can elongate they can expand and they can go back to the same size again
So as our ores also internal organs are like, like that. Stomach also can expand, you know, five times bigger than what it is. But, you know, if you did diet and you can just make it smaller and go back to the same size. Uh, yes, lymphatic massage. It's one hour massage, which is uh, misunderstood in a lot of spas or people that letting to you yeah, thinking about the lymphatic massage is good to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Actually, a week ago, I had a client reach out to me through email, uh, through my website, through my email. Um, the guy that has, uh, you know, lose some weight, he was overweighted and has like, you know, sagging and, you know, loose skin over okay. the abdomen and belly area and trying to get rid of it. But he was trying to see if the, you know, lymphatic massage does that. Mm -hmm. But I just try to explain and give him right information that I don't think so. You know, the lymphatic massage, it's designed to just help you to lose weight. The lymphatic massage is not for losing weight. Lymphatic massage is a defensive system, our body, and it's helping our immune system. And it, it's just fights with, you know, infections, viruses, bacteria. That's, that's what the lymphatic system does. If you don't have a lymphatic system in our body, with the little cold, with the little bacteria or virus we get from outside environment, we could have died. So that's the, how we defend the system wow. works and to protect us. So mainly um, it's around the neck area and also on the armpit area and also mm -hmm. the groin area, which mainly 70% of the lymph wow. nodes are located on that area. But those are automatically it's been uh, activated or stimulated as much as we work. That's why we say don't sit, don't sit too much, try to walk, try to do activity. You know, this is human body. We need to, you know, those activity exercise. Mm -hmm. I will say without exercise, we cannot say we have a healthy body. The healthy body, the key of the healthy body is exercise. So we have yeah. to do exercise. So as much as we do exercise and we move, so this lymph nodes has been activated anyway. Yeah. Uh, but for doing lymphatic massages, how it can be benefit from there, it's for people who have surgery. And of course, after surgery, if they, you know, uh, ripped out your, some part of your body and they stitch it and definitely it's going to get swollen and a lot of fluids after that, they are going to attack to that side and more swollen. So lymphatic massage mainly would just help for people okay. who have surgery and try to get rid of those swollen areas faster. But our body, again, is smarter than uh, we tell them what to do. They are gonna do its own, but lymphatic system will, you know, massage will help them just get rid of those swollen or excessive liquids faster than normal. Yeah. Um, and also I have two um, small sessions, which they are 30 sessions. I call them quick fix. Mm -hmm. One of them is stress relief, which is a massage of head, neck, and shoulder massage. And those are designed for people mainly who, like you, they have a sedentary job and sitting on a so chair. So I have my new bed. chair. Wait, my neck should be on it, but it's not. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I see your chair has a back and you change your I, chair. Yes, I had so to. I'm happy to see that. I noticed thank it you. before. See, but I was going to try to see to come to this part to let you. Uh -huh. uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a good thing, of course. And that's what it is. People are mm -hmm. forgetting about their posture when we are in a work. And all these things just makes us about forget about our posture or body mechanics. And uh, so those massages definitely will help you to get quick fixed and help get the tension out of your shoulder, neck. And also I do have uh, Girls on Hills which yes. you know, for the feet, calf massage for ladies who are on their high heels shoes all day. Certain people, they want to wear and like look nice and pretty. That's why they wear those high heels. But mm -hmm. those high heels, you know how it's going to affect your whole body from, you know, toe to the head. Uh, yeah. So those massages also will help you to get rid of those tension on your calves and feet all day. Uh, so basically, these are the all treatments that I can offer at my spa or suite that I have. Um, 
and uh, yes, these are the massage services that I provide. So what else we can go over now? Sure. It's up to you. Bring it on. Um, Yes, uh, actually, uh, yes, we explained about massage benefits um, and how important to get regular massages daily or weekly or monthly. Uh, and I'm reading all these articles and new findings about how massage is powerful, you know, holistic way to, you know, manage our stress and pain. Yeah. Um, so there was a little uh, article that I recently found out. It says... The time has come to the massage, uh, to take the massage seriously as a mental health prevention. Uh, massage therapy is routinely ignored as a potential mental health treatment. Mm -hmm. uh, existing research suggests multiple potential mechanisms by which massage may improve mental health. Uh, massage therapy is often unfairly uh. characterized as a luxurious activity reserved for indulgence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is a quite unfortunate because there are many potentials and mental health benefits to massage that are beginning to be better understood. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, massage seems to impact the brain yeah. activity in ways that improve relaxations, changes in EEG activity actually EEG is a it's a card it's, an, it's, a, it's a diagram that uh, with the receptors and sensors they put on your head and forehead to just uh, get your uh, brain signal activity and it's mainly this done for epilepsy for seizure and for no brain activity which massage is also impacting your brain activity which can be seen changes in EGG activity and is in parasympathetic tone while maintaining the alertness. Yeah. There is also some suggestions that somatic sensory pleasure circuitry in the brain may also be involved um, with the massage. Massage mm -hmm. also seems to positive impact the HPA. HPA is hypothalamic pituitary adrenal and levels of neurohormones such as a bonding hormone, oxytocin. Many of these brain structures or functions are similar to those targeted in the other mental health interventions. Mm -hmm. Several studies that shows massage helps to reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression. It also may improve also the sleep disorders. But unfortunately, since massage has been showed or known as a spa day activity mm -hmm. and sits in the holistic wellness marketplace yeah. next to the many unscientific mm -hmm. practice, it's rarely taken as seriously as it should be as a potential health interventions. So you see how massage can, you know, just uh, activate your brain cells and help you. And uh, recently, I also had uh, some connections between, you know, uh, the skin to skin connections. A new study shows that the premature baby who are under 5.5 kilogram and uh, under, under 5.5 pounds, so it's like two and a half kilogram, which they born, um, they used to put the babies in the incubator yeah. to just because, you know, when the baby born pretty much, or, you know, pretty much or means uh, around 37 mm -hmm. weeks if they born before that. So it's a pretty much a baby. And then because the, when the baby born pretty much, or they don't have enough fat in their body to be able to regulate their respiratory system and also the heat. So they can die because they, you know, they cannot really good breath or but they can feel cold because they don't have enough fat. They can die with it. That's what they put to the incubator to, to just make them give them what they need. But now the new study shows that the, they said the Congru wrap. So it's the um, skin to skin connection. Contact, yeah. Mm -hmm. Contact. Now the, the study shows that the babies that newborn, they have to be contact skin to skin to the mother's chest. And yeah. they are going to get more benefits than the incubator. Mm -hmm. uh, so that means you see how even the skin to skin connections can be 
better than advanced technologies that they are doing it to you know to uh, just uh, keep the baby yeah. and we know that how many millions uh, you know people are dying because of the early premature and they cannot yeah. be saved but this would help and this would help save lives and save babies uh, because the study shows that and that's how it shows that again the skin to skin contact how can impact your brain and all other part of your bodies um so these are was the two main uh, findings that i was gonna just mention about um uh, but we can go over also uh some massage benefits yeah absolutely and by the way let's just remind everyone of your contact information again please uh yes contact information uh i have a website uh, which is mosagetherapia.com uh so they can go online and if they want to make an appointment of course it's everything they need about me it's there they can read information my service is there make an appointment and also um also they are they can reach out to me through my website they can send an email or they can send an email directly to my email which is mosage.com it's m-o-e-s-s-a-g-e seven one dot com um, I mean, uh, at gmail.com. So that's my uh, email. And also my cell phone, they can call me, they can text me uh, if you have any questions or if you want to make an appointment, uh, yeah. 818-913-3289. Um, so these are my contact list. Awesome. Um, yes. Okay, let's go to this. And actually I was going to just one thing about... Um, uh, in the U.S. about eating habits um, mm -hmm. and also uh, we, yes, in the U.S. we are all witnesses the negative uh, consequences of poor eating habits in the U.S. is one of the unhealthiest nation in the world, huh. such a diet related disease, you know, heart disease and cancer, the number mm -hmm. one killer. Uh, good eating habits are, um, you know, core uh, to good nutrition uh, and the nutrition it's really it's you know central to our health and wellnesses the benefits of proper nutrition are powerful mm -hmm. um, you know uh, heart good heart lower blood pressure reduce of cancer risk lower cholesterol weight management improve sleep disorder diabetes uh, avoidance of strong, you know, bones, uh, teeth, gut, health, even better mood and improve memory. Uh, so eating habits can just, you know, it's all changes our whole system in our body. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, we are saying that genetics loads the gun, but the environment pulls yes. the trigger. A mm -hmm. uh, lot of people have disease and problems which can be genetically okay. and hereditary you can have it uh, but the study shows that if you have a right um, you know way of uh, living and you know how you eat how you do things can change your effect or your you know Everything. yes mm -hmm. inheritance yeah. um, so there is evidence that one can turn and um, the negative gen marker uh, through the positive their lifestyle uh, and indicate that they have a great influence in our or our current and future health. Uh, we receive the vast majority of our required um, macro and micro nutrition through the real whole natural fresh food that we eat, mm -hmm. like carbohydrates, you know, proteins and fats. Yeah. And those are the macro nutritions. For example, it's easier for your body to use vitamins and minerals that come from a balanced diet rather than from a supplement. So study shows that the American people around 85 to 90% are using unnecessary supplements. And uh, those are leads to not just, you know, having these problems, not, you know, leading to not absorbing a good amount of nutrition that the body needs. And they just, you know, tend to go to the diet, to the supplements uh, because of their lifestyle. And I believe so education is also important to know what is good, what is not good. 
the advertisement, everything we see, these are for advertisements, you know, money marketplace. We, you know, we need to get money and the world is need to work. Uh, but we have to be more smarter, just, you know, educate ourselves to understand ourselves what is exactly right or not, not just believe everything it's been showing. Even on the Google search, people go on the Google search, people read magazine, people read articles, this, that, those are related to the health. Those are not 100% accurate. Those are not scientifically accurate. Those are just information that it's there. You read it, you think that it's right, but most of it wouldn't be right. So those are leads you then you know getting not right information. Um, okay, so the benefits of massage. Um, I'm gonna just approach to the studies that new studies has in investigated the psychological effects of the massage and how they can impact his body natural stress fighting system. The idea of a lone massage might be a wonder for some people's stress level, but the new study has showed that that into the psychological details, how this short, sweet massage time or treatment can kick the body's relaxation system into the new gear. Um, the researchers uh, was carried out at the Germany's University Constance and finding more specifically uh, for the team that set out for explore the effects of massage on parasympathetic nervous system as a major branch of autonomic and when the bodies are at rest. Um, the PNF is also responsible helping us to fight off the stress when we experience threats and therefore plays an important role in helping us uh, enter the relaxation mode and can boost mental and physical relaxation. Um, regular exercise and massage, people go exercise Yes, exercise is good, but understanding the massage benefits is also good, but combination of exercise and massage, it has manipulates offer positive health effects and benefits. Um, also, massage can help people with eating disorders. So this is a study that shows who received the massage three times a day for 10 days, gain weight faster than and who leave the hospital six days sooner than who did not receive a massage. So also then receive a massage can also affect your, you know, eating disorder as well. Um, office workers massaged every day regularly are more alert, perform better, and are less stressed than those from those that who did not receive a massage daily. So receive massage has tons of benefits. Um, it dish, massage Excuse shows me. that, yes. Massage Had a sneeze, shows that, sorry. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> um, I was going to ask you about uh, the problem that you had from your back pain. The and herniation. The, the herniated so, disc. It's, uh, it's so much better. I stopped going to physical therapy. I got this chair. I do exercises at home now to um stretch to do things I never was doing and I'm feeling so much, much better. better. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Yeah, you know, yes, yes. And and it's important because you are sitting all the time on your feet or yeah. you're standing. It's good and the end of the year you can lay down. This is important. I mean I have been doing it maybe more than maybe in 30, 35 years. Uh, I always do that, even middle of the day if I get feel tired. But, you know, I'm a massage therapist. I come home every time at, you know, at 8, 9 p.m. And I just try to relax myself. That's what my body needs. That's what our body needs. And laying down on the floor, which help you relax your body and the, all these fluids that go into your lower extremity and the heart, the blood, you can just, you know, bring it back, all the bring and the fluid it to your body again. Yeah. And uh, yes, yeah, good to put your feet up, you know, elevate your feet up, you know, about your heart level and raise your arm to the back and just try to do the spine extension. Because as we said, we are always in a flexion mode and we need to do this spine for extension as well. So it's good to do that if you lay down on the floor and elevate your legs yep. at least five, 10 minutes per day. Um, Beautiful. Yes, a study shows that the massage not only can massage therapy help with the stress relief, but regular massage sessions over a prolonged time period can boost your energy level, can promote quality sleep, 
improve your productivity and help and help provide the feeling of well-being. Um, healing massage therapy on a regular basis, it's ultimate natural wellness plan you can do to your you know, plan daily. Massage therapy is proven to be the proactive way to stay healthy and well and mobile. Um, massage is needed for rejuvenation and stress reduction. Massage increase and promotes joint flexibility, enhance yeah. a calm mind, promote mental alertness, wow. increase peace of yeah. mind, reduces anxiety. Um, I guess massage is very holistic and natural way to help our bodies. Mm -hmm. um, getting a massage on a regular basis, I will say, is not an indulgence. It's an investment in your health. Budgeting time and money for your massage and regular massage, it's a good investment in your health. Um, touch and massage stimulates the release of endorphins, the body's natural painkiller, and also decreases in stress hormones, which is a cortisol and it brings down. Yeah. So it's good for anxiety and who have more stress in their life. And we have to wrap it up. I'm sorry, we're over time, but I had the time to give. Sorry. Oh, time is flying. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm so apologized though, but I do have to go. Uh, let yes. me just ask uh, uh, to close out today. What did you want to say? I would say because we are getting close to the new year, uh, I also offer a gift card, uh, whoever wants to their family, to love friends. Uh, I would be suggesting the massage would be one of the best gift you can give, you know, as a gift to the, to the new year. And you can come into my website and purchase that gift card and receive the treatment. Perfect. Um, so hopefully we will see you guys there. And remind us again of the website. Yes, uh, my website is massagetherapia.com. And my cell phone is 818-913-3289. And my email address is mosage71 at gmail.com. Great. Thank you for your time Thank today. You. And I appreciate it. Really good conversation as always. And glad we had some extra my time. Pleasure. You have a great day. We'll chat soon. Okay. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.